In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever the time may be. Welcome back to episode 33. Not got too strict of a plan today, to be honest. We need some levels and a few different skills, and I think we're going to free ceramic vase. But other than that, I haven't really thought too deep about it. Going to start off just by finishing cutting the teak tree till I have a full invent, because I was almost there. And then we will go do a birdhouse run. And there's our invent. Gee, he was the only teleport I had on me. Okay. Seems a bit laggy. Our first mahogany birdhouse is going to be coming in here. Big moves. I uh, did not know I had those leaves, but sure, I guess I'll put them under GE. Why the hell not? I guess I must have accidentally, like, emptied my forestry bag or something. Yeah, I think I'm going to start off with the ceramic vase stuff. Birdhouse has done five nests in the bank. We are going to make our way to Zanaris. In fact, should we use our Ibans for the first time? I can't remember what you need to cast it. Uh, fuck. Yeah, it's literally just death runes and fire runes. Fuck it, let's do that. In fact, let's go to the GE and upgrade our mage gear, because we've been wearing fucking Xerix for ages, and we can definitely do better than Xerix. What can we get to now? We could wear blood bark. With 60 defense, we don't have 50 defense. We could wear swamp bark, though. I think I might get the swamp bark, you know. We could get mystics, but we could get 5k defense XP. I guess we get Mystics for now, and we change after. Okay, we want Mystic Bottoms. Good for boots, I'll just wear the Boots of Lightness. Uh, hat, I guess, gloves. Oh, I could've just got a set, I'm done. Farsi Helm, there we go. Okay, new Mage Gear. Need some Death Runes. I think we can only use, like, 500 charges anyway, so... 120? Please tell me that's not all it is. Fuck it, I'm gonna go and upgrade it straight away, I don't care. We got a load of money back yesterday, so we'll be absolutely fine to spend 250k on upgrading our best magic weapon until we get access to the warp scepter. Where's our rune pouch? Shall we get a West Ardy teleport? 950k we've got. Do we need anything else from here? Machete. Okay, over to West Ardy. We go upgrade the Ibans. I hope we don't have to run for it to charge it up, I swear down. Wait, where is the guy? Is it him? Why is he inside? Upgrade. Yeah, 200,000 coins. Is it charged? Thank fuck. Okay, we're good to go. Right, we're gonna go get ourselves a Dream and stuff, because I forgot to bring it. And do we not have a, oh, we got a dig site on, that's not good. Glory's better, in it? Okay, grab a stamina and energy, and we're off. I don't have a raw chicken, what am I doing? Wait, I've got one in the bank. What? I remember putting that there. I can't remember why I picked it up. I randomly... Oh my gosh, I've got 30? Okay, that wasn't what I thought then. I've got 30 chickens. That's such a weird amount of chickens to have. Like, when did I bank 30 chickens? I thought I banked one chicken. Now I'm really confused. If you remember why I've got 30 chickens in my bank, please tell me. Don't hit me. That was rude. I didn't bring food. Pray, mage. Good job. I was killing this with magic. Terrible idea. I'm gonna try just whacking him. Okay, whacking him's not working better. I mean, this thing attacks with magic, so it obviously has a high magic level, so I should have killed it or something else. We do need to kill a black dragon as well, so it'll be good using magic for that at least. There we go. 
Okay, we got the egg. Got the dragon next. I know there's safe spots here, I'm not sure where they are, but I'll try and find one. Oh, that was easy enough. Well, not exactly hitting much better against this, so much for our new mage gear. My gosh, this is slow. Why am I splashing this much? Is that it? No, one more hit. Oh, there we go. Fuck me. Oh, it's a combat task there. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, we need to just go and do some cooking. Although we don't have the vanilla pod yet. So we're going to have to go to the Karazi jungle. I hope we can get through the dense jungle. If not, we will have to rethink that. Right, cornflower? Did I... I had the cornflower. Okay, now we need the vanilla pod. So we need an axe and a machete. We don't really need the combat gear, so I should probably get rid of it to save energy. We need Radimus's notes, though, to be able to get in there. And I'm going to change over my runes again. Okay, we need some stuff. We may as well do the first bit of Legends quest while we're in the jungle. So that would be... Three papyrus and a charcoal. We've got the charcoal, but we could probably do the spare. We need to go to the GE. Okay, I think we are good to go now. May as well just run from here. I believe it's CKP. It is not CKP. Ah. Oh. All right, folks. Hope you're ready for the biggest life hack ever. If you are entering the Karazi jungle, all you have to do, stand at this corner of Shiloh Village, right on this south Western wall, go straight forward. Two chops, you're in. Same to get out as well if you need to get out there. Guess also that vanilla pod. Good job of an extra charcoal. Okay, so that is all mapped. We need to use this on a person outside to get the bull roarer, but we're not going to bother with that for now. We're going to go to RFD again. Of course, we've got our stuff now. Evil chicken's egg. Grinded German branch that I got an extra one of whenever I did that fucking quest. Oh, so we use this. I think we're almost done. All right, we have the Brulee Supreme in a rubbish normal pot. So supreme. Shove this in your gob hammock. There's the last one. They're all free, y'all. Okay, so we now need to use this portal to go and kill the final boss for RFD. That is all we need to do for it now. I don't think I'm going to buy the dragon gloves because they'll be expensive. Yeah, 130k, I don't really want to buy them. But dragon gloves unlocked. Isn't that cool? All right, we need some thieving XP and some woodcutting XP. Don't really have a great place to access teaks right now. So I think what I'm going to do is put my boots of lightness on and where's my house at the minute? Shit, where is my house at the minute? Is it in Hosidius? Because I feel like it is. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So all we're going to do is run over into this building. We might have to hop to find ourselves a free world, but I just want to double check we could actually do that before I do start hopping. Gosh, this might be difficult. Please don't tell me there's people in every single world. Why are so many people trying to even here? Hang on, that guy's AFK. Oh, and he'd he logged. Or golden. Right, so this is how we get our thieving XP. For a few levels at least. Kind of popping off with these strange fruits, I'm not gonna lie. Just setting the left click on everything to drop so I can quickly get rid of it. It's probably worth just spending the time to... Okay, we're good. We basically need two levels like this. Once we get to 45, we can do blackjacking. Until then, this is the best way, unfortunately. It is relatively decent XP rate for a low level method though. Reckon we should be at 45 in the next 10 minutes, probably.
that's 44. Still estimating 10 minutes tall. I think our rate is better than what's showing though. There's a part of me that's considering not doing Legends, you know. What do y'all think? Because I don't have to make my decision today. Let me know in the comments. Do you think I should do Legends Quest? Although the other path I was thinking of taking that would get me a couple quest points would be to unlock a Teak spot, which doesn't really make sense if we're not doing Legends Quest, does it? So, because that's why we need our wood coin. Hmm. I'm in a predicament. I mean, I know I need this Steve in every, either way, because I need it for Desert Treasure. Just don't really have a good way to train wood cutting. No, friend. That is not how you do that. You do not just hop into my world. Bro. Bro. Oh, this... What a, what a cunt. What an absolute cunt. You're getting reported, mate. Fuck you. you you're a cunt. You're a cunt. It's that simple. I'm not going to be able to find a world now. Fuck it, I'm having that one. That guy can fuck right off. Yeah, that's right, bitch. He actually hopped right as I came in as well. I don't know why, but... Maybe he just came there to piss me off. Makes me even worse, to be honest. Made me lose time hopping. If anyone ever sees that guy in the world, they fucking smoke him. Be frazzled since that guy hopped in. It really pissed me off. <laughs> you know what would be a, a cool addition? Something random, but if they made an elite diary reward for Zaya that you got your fruit here noted, that would actually be really interesting. Like, most of it's useless, yeah, but some of the stuff here, like... I don't know, Jango berries, papayas, strange fruit, obviously. They could actually be pretty useful. I don't think it'd make it into an insane money maker. There's probably better ways to do it with thieving, even. But that'd be an interesting bonus to have. Someone else is trying to do it now. Bro, piss off. This is my world, mate. People just don't understand manners. No. Bruh. I'm only here for another minute anyway. Oh, there's my 45 thieving. You're getting reported to. Okay, I'm just getting my cash stack because I want to move my house to Pullman Beach. And we need a rune pouch. And we want a jeweling ring if we don't have it. Alright, house is back in Pullman Beach. We're going to scoot over there. Go find ourselves a bearded bandit. Which one do we need to do? Bearded Pullman Evening Bandit. I think it's the ones that are like up here somewhere. Like these pricks. I want to get him into this building here. I remember it being a good building. Because if he aggroes you, you can just go up the ladder. Okay, can we change his left click? Nope. So we're going to have to knock out. You need to be 55. That's the wrong type. Fuck's sake, man. Cowardly Bandit, Bandit. Do they have a different title? Are they called Bearded? Villages, villages, menophyte fugs. I've only seen villages. Where are the bearded pollen? Do I actually have to look at them? That was a villager. I don't know where the fucking bandits are. Can I pickpocket this guy? 55. I feel like it might be the villagers, you know. Oh no, it's it's levels. It's levels. Okay, there we go. Wait, no, that's we need a level 41. Okay. That's one. No, don't tell me to go away. I need you to follow me. It's taking me fucking five minutes just to lure a minute. I need to change that to pickpocket. Oh no. Okay. So we lure, we knock out. No, nope, can't do it during combat. Don't know why I was in combat. Not a good rate at the minute, but... Man, I'm not knocking him out like at all. 
Okay, we're streaking a bit like that. Whoa. It keeps pickpocketing when I'm trying to knock him out. I don't know why it does that. It's like when you're stunned and you try and knock out, it just like defaults to pickpocket for some reason. Man, a strange fruit! We just got a bunch of those! Can you give me a fucking imp? A dunce? That's 46, Steven. Might make our rate a little better, hopefully. I wish it wouldn't try and pickpocket so much when I'm not actually clicking pickpocket because I'll lose so much time because he just stuns me like every time because I'm not trying to just pickpocket him. That wouldn't work and I know it wouldn't work. I'd love to just squeeze one more level out before the birdhouse run but I might be asking for a lot there. Okay, the next time he stuns me I'm going to leave. There we go. Wait, that wasn't a stun. That was. Should just about have enough time to do the bird ass. Gonna have to be snappy about it though. Dig sight, clockwork, hammer, everybody's favourite, chisel, seed, smog, bang bing bomb. Oh, I pray. We're not gonna get it, are we? Oh, that's so annoying! <laughs> One bird house not done. Oh, I stayed too long on my thieving. It is what it is. I guess we'll stop just there at the start of tomorrow. We'll do that one birdhouse, run to the bank to get some more mahogany logs, and then do the other three. But yeah. Oh, that is going to be today. Right, we only got 40k, but we did gain 22k in thieving, which is quite a lot, to be fair. We went up from 43 to 46, almost 47. We got a tiny bit of woodcutting, crafting XP. We got 4,000 hit points just from the combat that we did, and 3,000 magic as well. Maybe we got some hit points from somewhere else, because I don't feel like we did that much combat, but... Yeah, 4,000 cooking too. It's uh, It's been a kind of a, a slow day, but like, we were working on lower level training methods of the thieving there for a bit, so... It's taking some time to just get us going. Similar with the, the wood cutting, we don't really have a great way to train it up. We can just do like teaks or willows in a forestry area. I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do with it yet. Which is why I was doing the thieving first, because that's a pretty easy decision to go for the uh, the blackjacking. But yeah, I'm not sure what level we can boost from either, or if we can boost for desert treasure. Shall we just check while we're here? 53 thieving is not boostable, so we need to get to 53 anyway, but the fire making is boostable if we can find a boost for it. Interesting. So we need that 53 thieving, which means we're going to need a lot more bandits. About a thousand. But hopefully the success rate will improve the higher we get up in those levels. So, you know, by the time we're actually reaching 53, we'll be feeling much much less on those and then we can start thinking about the the wood cutting and the fire making to do both desert treasure and legends quest yep that is going to be it for today though if you enjoyed the video please do leave a like let me know in the comments do you think i should do legends quest you think I should maybe, like, leave it for now and come back in a future season to finish it? Because we technically don't need it if we can get two quest points from elsewhere? Let me know. Be interesting to hear everyone's thoughts. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, of course, so you don't miss any of my future content as and when it releases. Getting towards the end of the season here, folks. Other than that, though, look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.